How's it going guys? It's November 2nd. I was just walking around the orchard to see what was still hanging. And this is a, a Gallerina apple. I bit into it and it's still crispy and crunchy and tastes pretty good. There's a graft. I gotta take that wrap off. It's good. It just has some bug damage on the back side, so probably some worm in the middle. But wow. A very good balance of sugar and acid. A pleasant apple. Very refreshing. You know, there's another hole. I'm not going to eat the whole thing. Probably worms in the middle. But let's go over here. This is uh, Jana Gold still hanging. Here I still have Keepsake that's still hanging. Probably gonna have to pick it soon. And probably it's probably not ripe, it probably has to keep. how green it is although already edible it's a more mild apple it is sweet and it does taste good it has some water core but wow yeah definitely a good eating apple nothing wrong with it just a little more mild And I think a little bit of bitter pit. So it's not going to keep. I'm going to have to juice it or something. Let's taste the Johnny Gold. Some good Johnny Golds up there. Let's find one over here. Maybe this one. Johnny Golds get big and juicy. Darn, this one has some damage. Let's taste it though. They do get bitter pit, but still, still a little less bitter pit than Honey Crisp. Probably not gonna keep because of all the bitter pit. See all those brown dots? Still tastes good. Some of them are better than others. If you kind of, you know, look around. And John Gold is a very good producer too. Even though this is like in the middle of the tree here, it's still large, still colored up. See, this one has less bitter pit. And the other thing is, this tree has apple mosaic virus. So it's under more stress than your average apple tree. So I, I can't sell cyan wood off of this tree. This is actually a Franken tree, which has like 35 varieties. You can see all the different grafts on every branch. All different varieties here. So that's one of the downsides to putting a whole bunch of varieties in one tree end up with one that was infected and then it infects the entire tree but uh, jana gold is very close to the type of flesh that honey crisp has it has kind of like the large cells very crispy
some apples are crispy but they're hard this is crispy but it's soft if you know what i mean just because the cells are large it's probably the the closest to the consistency and how the flesh breaks away makes it you know more like the honey crisp but um this one is i would say more disease resistant than the honey crisp it's also large jana gold is a very good apple all around i suppose you know maybe if i had a tree that was under less stress and perhaps if you give it adequate amount of calcium then it won't have this bitter pit issue they've been hanging and they got all their flavor but they won't keep because they're kind of starting to turn brown on the inside even though it's super crispy and super tasty right now uh, look at all those jana golds and more jana golds see all those jana golds are coming from this one graft right here that's this graft which was done the same timing as this actually no that one was done earlier so this is this is a graft from 2018 so four years later it's completely healed over this was a bark graft and it's producing i still have some red love do so is hanging on that branch that's right there maybe i should taste an oduso i gotta climb up the tree though for that there's also more adusos on the ground i'm gonna have to pick all these up i want to pick one though Let's climb up this tree Let's see, here's a nice looking Oduso. Look how dark that is. Oduso is like a later ripening red flesh apple. Look how red it gets. Mm-hmm. It's still a little bit tannic. It needs to keep for a little bit to bring all the flavors out. But the thing with red fleshed apples, if you're craving an apple, you ain't just, you're not just gonna go and eat a bunch of red fleshed apples because they are more tart. And overall, they, they don't have, you know, the, the same eatability as your regular apple but they are very unique that they have the the berry flavors it's just once you've had one or two you don't really want another one as it is kind of tannic still and they're a little more sour than your average apple they are unique and i am breeding with these very cool apples these red flesh apples and they're very healthy because they have the anthocyanins and the antioxidants for your body so very good for you quite unique but if you don't have a lot of space on your property you probably don't want to dedicate it to just red fleshed apples because these are good in juicing pies um you know even eating i like to eat them but you, you're not going to like them over say you know like apples like Jana Gold or Spartan and Gold Rush is, is just not going to be your go-to apple to snack on is what I'm saying it's cool when you just get it because it's so unique but um, yeah it's just it's not worth planting just 
a red flesh apple if you're limited on space. That'd be my advice to you, backyard gardeners. Have yourself some red flesh apples, but if you're limited on space, then get yourself some normal cultivars like Gold Rush or Spartan or Liberty. I still got grapes hanging up in this tree. Mm. I sure did sweeten up already. I'm gonna have to harvest these grapes. Yeah. Look at that. You got grapes, you got apples. Everything that you might desire when you go through a walk through your orchard. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.